look around for me. <laughs> Maybe you can spend time um, flipping the camera around, showing everybody oh, where yeah. we're at. So just Let's take a few minutes to that. turn it around and tell people where we're at. Get up and show them all of the beautiful Yeah. Life. So for my birthday weekend, we decided to hit the road and work remotely for two weeks from sunny Las Vegas. Yeah, we went from coast to coast. 3,000 miles. Almost 3,000 miles. So for the next two weeks, we'll be here in Las Vegas. Some of you knew that we had taken a trip, and we wanted to let you all see how beautiful. Here we are at the, what is it, Jessica? The iconic Ethel M. Chocolate Factory down in the old part of Las Vegas in Henderson Valley in Clark County, Nevada. Yeah, and this is a beautiful cactus garden. They have some of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Look at that. And in this iconic building, you can go in and watch them make their delicious chocolate. If you want to know Ethel M's story, look it up. Yeah, the Ethel M story, all about the Ethel M chocolatiers. Of course, some of that is parking lot, but a lot of beautiful plants here. We wanted to give you guys something nice to see. That's why we're deciding to do it from here. Let me flip this camera back around. I'm going to put you guys on our standard tripod. Meanwhile, you can be looking at beautiful Jessica, who's going to start talking about all of the exciting things we hope to see while we're here you know a lot of people don't know that there is a lot of natural beauty in Las Vegas a lot of people think that Las Vegas is just casinos and showgirls and the truth is there is a ton of natural beauty here okay she's saying come a little bit closer just because we have all of we're right by McCarran Airport so there's going to be some time like right now you can't hear us because of the sound of the airplane right over us. Yes. I almost can touch it. Yeah, it's real close. So. <laughs> so, for JC's birthday, we weren't sure what to do. You know that the way the world is, we don't know COVID, no COVID, closed up, not closed up, and we didn't know what to do for JC's birthday, so we just got in the car and kept driving. Yep. And one of the wonderful things that we decided to do was visit a family grave in Oklahoma that we had not gotten to see yet. And if anybody knows my story, you've heard these before. Uh, Luna and I were born a hundred years apart on the exact same day. Yes. And I didn't know who she was growing up. And when I left home at 16 and didn't come back till almost in my 30s, I had already used Luna as a handle for the internet and emails. And when I finally came home, back to my family after being gone since I was 16, everybody just couldn't understand why I used that name and was shocked because my great-great-grandmother was Luna Lake Barton Hawes, born June 27th, 1875. They have it wrong on her grave and put 76, but here we are. And now we're halfway to Las Vegas, so we kept going. Why not? So here we are in Clark County. Here comes some more airplanes. <laughs> we might flip the camera around so you can see them. It's like right here. Wait till the next one comes. Oh, that's oh, you're true. missing it. Yeah. We're it's, missing it. It already went. When the next one comes, we'll show you. We'll flip it faster. So we are still working, we are still shipping, we are still having um, our classes and our services and our consultations. Um, so don't hesitate if you have any needs from Coe's Cupboard, but we're just doing it remotely from the yeah. beautiful desert. Yes. Does everybody know that the desert is the ancient ocean? It is. This used to all be water. This used to all be water. <laughs> so everybody is saying hello. Connie is saying hello. Anna is saying hello. Erica says, ooh, that's beautiful. It is. Samantha says, hello there. What a beautiful view. Let me see here. My phone um, is too dark to see in this beautiful bright light. <laughs> uh, Anna says, beautiful. Peggy says, hi. Debbie Sprague says, wow, what a treat. It's it beautiful a treat. there. It's a real treat. That's my husband's hometown. What? I didn't know that, Debbie. Gosh. Erica says, hi, mom to Peggy. Erica says, we can hear you, but real loud. <laughs> Very... Peggy says, love it. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought with Vegas. Dee Dee says, hello. Debbie says, Safe travels to you both. Heather Ferguson says, hello, tribe. Heather here. Hi, Heather. Peggy says, Jess, that's awesome. Yes. Lou says, hello. Hi, Lou. And Good Michelle Denny says, 
Hello. Hello. Hi, Michelle. So, yes, my family is from here. In fact, that's who we are staying with is my cousin, my first cousin, my super cousin, um, my first best friend. Uh, your cousins are always your first best friends. If you didn't have siblings or siblings you liked. I'm going to show you this plane now. We're going to hurry so you can see it. Okay, no, it's right here. It's just above us, right there. Do you see it? No, you don't because you're not even turning it oh. this way. You're not turning it. Am I not turning it? Okay. I don't know how I missed it. That's ridiculous. We're have to do it again. Yeah. All right. Next all time right. a plane comes, we'll show you again. I don't know how that happens. Guess it's every five minutes. Everybody's <laughs> coming to Las Vegas. Yeah, it's a full city. There's a lot of people here. So I was born in Arizona, raised in Alaska and Hawaii, and a lot of my family are in Vegas and Idaho. So this is why we're here. Peggy saw. So there you go. Okay, so Peggy did see it. <laughs> but we want to take you all over yeah, while we're here. We we're gonna do lives from lots of fun, iconic places. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to the Goddess Temple and. Segment and show you. We're gonna go to Red Rock and Valley of Fire and maybe downtown, give you some spiritual experience from the anything goes city in the desert, show you that there's still a spirituality even amongst there the is. craziest. There really is. So we just wanted to share a treat with yeah. you guys tonight. Some of this natural beauty that a lot of people don't have an advantage to see or even realize is out there. These are honestly the biggest cacti I've ever seen. I've never seen them this big before. These are huge. So clearly tonight is your time. If you have anything that you want to ask, let us get to that. I don't know how long we can be here and, until they run us off because, you know, they are pretty strict with people doing weird things. Weird things. And so if they're not benefiting, they okay, might so change. So one's coming. I'm going to try to show you this one. But Jessica's going to have to help because I don't know. Okay, Jessica, do it. That's reversed. Jessica showed you an airplane. Every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's All idea. right, here we go. Coming so, back any questions okay. you might have, you're more than welcome to ask. Yes. Anything you would like curated from out in the desert, let yeah. us know. You know that we do curated boxes. We do. So if there's anything you're looking for that you can't get to around here in the Southwest, let us know. Um, we're still continuing to do our work from here. We are presenting that fall box. Yes, if you are fall. looking to create an altar and you're not sure where to start or you would like us to curate one for you magically, um, those are up for sale now. So just DM us if you did not see the advertisement. And readings are still available. But tonight's all about you guys checking in with you, giving you something beautiful <laughs> to look at, and ask any questions that you might have. Yes. Well, we're sitting here and <laughs> Eric's making a joke saying that she thinks it's every minute rather than every five. Uh, I don't know, we might get a window. Before we say anything else, um, Gabby Chavez, your father Gabriel Lopez is here and he, he's worried that you're going to end up with the same condition as him, <clears throat> so please go get yourself checked. He said that he wasn't expecting to, to develop lymphoma that quickly, so please get yourself checked. Do not ignore any of the symptoms. Absolutely. Um, let's see here. Debbie says she would love to see Red Rock. If we have the internet, yes. we're making it happen, yes, Debbie. We will. We'll definitely let you know when that happens. Absolutely. Uh oh. You're Here's right, Erica. One. Every You're minute. Right, Erica. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it really is. It's something. Two million people in the city and probably two million visiting every day. I'm sure. Um, Samantha says, happy birthday, JC. Thank you, and Samantha. Stephanie Zarati says, is it hot? What state? Yes. So, Stephanie, you're in New Mexico. We are now in Nevada. It's about 103 degrees, but you know from where we came from in Virginia, 80 degrees in humidity is terrible. And in the desert, 100 degrees with no humidity is divine. Yeah, that's the real difference, and I can tell you, growing up in the southeast as I did in Florida, and then spending so many years on the eastern seaboard, the humidity difference is unbelievable. You know, honestly, a solid 80 on the east coast, you can't handle it. It's too much. It's 101 out here today, and you wouldn't know it, nope. because it's delicious. Constant breeze. Constant breeze. You don't feel muggy. You don't feel gross it's not a problem it doesn't even feel that hot so i can honestly tell you living my whole life on the east coast except for when i've done travels 
this is honestly the best climate to be in. And that constant breeze, like Jessica was saying in the car, you know, this was all ancient ocean at one time and the breeze has never left. If you love the breeze of the ocean, you'll probably love the breeze of the desert. Absolutely. Um, Debbie Sprigg says, what a busy airport. Yeah. Erica says, I think it's every minute rather than every five. Yes. Jessica says, hello, loves. Hey. Uh, Debbie Sprigg says, no questions, just happy to see you. Enjoy the high vibes you guys are sharing. <laughs> 30 seconds, maybe? Every maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, all right. Um, Lynn says, enjoy you guys. Dee Dee says, you. happy birthday. And Thank Peggy you. says, oh, I want to be there. Debbie, honey, or Peggy. Sorry, I confused the, I was looking at one comment and the other. Peggy, hop a plane, baby. We'll, yeah. We'll, we'll wheel you around. Get on a plane, we'll figure you it out. Right? It'll probably, you know, fix some of those arthritic pains because, you know, I normally have very bad arthritis and it is gone in this climate. It is yes. gone. Uh, Stephanie Zarate says, I can't imagine humidity. I'm glad you have the dry heat. Yeah, yes, too. thank me you, too. Stephanie. Definitely. So like I said, we're here. We want to experience for you, for not only for ourselves, yeah. but for you. We just wanted to jump in the car. Like I said, we weren't sure with JC's birthday. Everywhere we picked to like fly or go or hotel, everything was weird with COVID and masks and shots and mandates and COVID rises. So we said, what better than to just get in the car and drive and see where we land and experience things in each each state has given us a different experience through this COVID different. nightmare. Yeah. You know, so, every state is different. Every state's handling it differently. Yeah. So if you think that the whole world looks the way your hometown does, you're wrong. We just found out we're wrong. We found out Because we thought that. Wrong. We did think that. We did. And it's not true. Every single city we've been to through every state has had a different attitude towards the virus and how to handle the virus. So whatever you think the truth is, you're probably wrong. Or just experience it because that's what we talked about. We didn't know what to do because we only had our local news. We didn't know what to do because we only had our paranoia about what it was. So what do you do? And not everybody has the luxury to, you know, work from home for two weeks. But, you know, we experienced Tennessee was completely different than Arkansas. And Arkansas was completely different than um, Oklahoma. And Oklahoma was completely different than Texas. And Texas was completely different than New Mexico and Arizona. And now here we are in Nevada. So again, the whole epiphany I've had on this trip is we need to respect the process. If any of you were on my personal Facebook page, you saw that. And that we don't need to live in fear because that is atrophy I'm not saying you can't do what's right for you and your family I can't say that this this is not a political or spiritual or religious conversation it is, not. It is about learning how to navigate the new new without being crippled the by new, fear the, the, new, the new, new new the new new not your no no squares <laughs> not your no no but new, your new new <laughs> <laughs> right um let's see here Peggy said that would be awesome, and Amber said hello, and Stephanie says ours is horrible, yeah. and Candace says, wow, that's a loud plane. Have fun. Be safe. We will, Candace. Planes tend to be loud. They haven't figured out how to put silencers on them yet. <laughs> they whisper. <laughs> so hopefully the next remote location, we're not going to just do Thursday nights whenever yeah. we get out we're and about. Wherever we can, whenever we we're can. We're going to pop in, even if it's for only 10, 15, So we minutes. will still do Thursday nights, yes. but we might have other broadcasts from the locations at different times. So just keep your eyes peeled and turn your notifications on for extra lives. Yeah, and I'm going to try to post it so you guys know. And of course it'll be recorded, so if you want to see it in a recording because you're busy. Yeah. But we just want you to know that we want to include the tribe we do. We in really everything do. we do. Good, bad, and ugly. Yeah. You know, learning and growing together, healing together, yeah. experiencing together. And since a lot of you can't jump on in the car and drive from East Coast to West Coast, we're doing that for you. Um, on our way back, we might just do broadcasts from every state. We don't yeah. know because we, we didn't know. really know what we were doing when we got here. No. That's so how we just, like it. Impulsivity, <laughs> the same of the game. So that's what's happening. So we just wanted to touch in, touch base, give you guys a chance to ask any questions you might have yeah. on Thursday nights and let JC do his two readings-ish a night and just check in with you guys and find out how everyone is. I also want to let everyone know, I hope you're prepared because Mercury Retrograde is coming up. Now, we're about to enter the shadow phase on September 5th. You're going to go through two and a half weeks and then the actual 27th. Mercury Retrograde will start on the 27th of September. Mm -hmm. So we'll be under the shadow uh, from the 5th to the 27th. The 27th starts the actual retrograde. Please take the necessary precautions. If you don't have a mercury dime, get one. If you don't have any kind of resources, contact us. We'll see what we can do to help you out. 
it's going to be challenging, but you can make it. Yes. It's a time to look inside and see what's wrong with your communication if you're trying to do it for shadow work. And if you're just trying to make your way in the world, be careful. If you don't need to do anything important when it comes to contract work or business traveling. agreements or traveling, don't do the important things, okay? Now, we have protected ourselves yes, before we have left, and we've brought stuff with us to make sure that we are protected because yeah. this was the only time we could make this happen. And, of course, it collides with Mercury Retrograde. So what better way to prove how awesome JC's magic yeah. is? Yeah. We make it safe, you know it works, right? Then you know it works. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. Um, Erica says, I love being impulsive. Heather says, Jess, I need your sunglasses. Happy B Day, JC. I miss <laughs> you guys. You. Miss you and too. Debbie Sprague says, Thank you. Would love to see your travel spot. So grateful Absolutely. you're sharing with us. Yeah. These came from Epcot Center. Yeah, Disney World. When, Disney World. Yeah, that was about two years ago. Two years ago. ago. Two years ago. Two years yeah. ago, we went to Epcot Center and we those sure were my did. glasses. So 80s. <laughs> it's not that bad. I'm getting all my vitamin D and I'm looking cool as shit. So, what does 45 feel like? Thank you for asking. I can tell you that life, in my opinion, starts at 40. Now, if you really wonder why I would say something like that, I'll tell you. I've come to the conclusion that in your 20s and 30s, you spend all your time worrying about what other people think, and you spend no time thinking about what you think. In your 40s and 50s, you spend your time thinking about what you think. And then by the time you hit your 60s and 70s, you don't give a shit about any of it anymore. And that's why life really starts in your 40s because that's when you've decided you aren't as concerned with the opinions of others as you were in previous decades. Absolutely. Um, and Erica just says I crack her up. I, I'm actually even on good behavior yeah, today. She is on good behavior. Right. I just had to feed her, so. We <laughs> ate at a place called um, Bear Cafe. Yeah. So it's all the Northwestern looking decor and all these hearty plates of like breakfast foods it's like plates the size of your head just filled to the top with eggs and bacon and home fries delicious and all of that stuff. best pancakes i've ever had honestly all right um let's see it looks like you're having conversation but mine isn't keeping up so can you see the damn it zuckerberg yeah i will go back a little bit so from the last thing yeah it was let's see oh but then it jumps you know we hate that don't we so Let's see here. Everybody is saying, I couldn't agree more, JC. That's what Connie says. Peggy mm -hmm. says, exactly, JC. Erica says, yes, JC. Debbie says, you are absolutely right, JC. And Jessica Sprint says, I'll, well, I'll be finding out a few <laughs> short years. <laughs> Dee Dee Duvall says, what sign was your waitress? Well, it was a waiter. <laughs> named Pat. Who thought he, he was George Lopez. He was prob, in my opinion. He was a fire sign. He was probably a Leo. That's my opinion. I, he, my, we didn't ask him. We almost got his schedule because he wanted us to come back. You know how we are. We're everybody's mentor, we're, yeah. therapist. We can't we've, help it. We ran yeah. into like five people who we've already yeah. mentored just by being strangers in the same aisle or at their table. <laughs> so ridiculous. they're enjoying us being here, I think. You know, we catch family like a turd catches flies. I just made that up, by the way. <laughs> So I did want to share with you a little something that I think is useful for people who don't feel as though they have the discipline or the time for box breathing. Okay. There's a really good method of doing some instantaneous relaxation by just slowing your exhalation process. So what I like to do, and if you're dealing with a child or someone who doesn't have a lot of muscular control around their mouth, you can do this with a straw. Make sure they gasp in a great big breath. If they're using a straw, have them exhale through the straw. If they have enough muscular control in their mouth to purse their lips in the shape of a straw opening, let them exhale slowly like this. Make it diaphragmatic, completely empty the lungs. By the time your lungs are empty, you should be much more relaxed. If it hasn't worked quite yet, do it again. And if you need to do it a third time, do it a third time. But there is a great, relaxation that comes from adding resistance to your exhalation and I know box breathing is my go-to method but a lot of clients say that that's complicated and it, it involves timing and they're not sure if they can do it and it's time-consuming so this is a really efficient breathing method to really relax quickly gasp in a big in inhalation and then exhale through the pursed lips I feel better already. Look well, at me. you're in the desert with the yeah. complete sun. Yeah. So and you're I've getting got lots years, of vitamin yeah. D. I've got years off and me. Years off me. I probably look 20. You I thought I look 20. 20. Thank you. Thank you. You just had your birthday. You're 25? Yeah. 25. Thank you. 25. 25. 
<laughs> All right, let's see what they said. Um, Phyllis says, Phyllis Hodgkins, thank you hey, for showing Phyllis, up. Hey, Phyllis, thank you for showing up. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Phyllis says, definitely life does become better at 40. It does. Erica says, that was a good one, JC. And Erica says, 25 plus shipping and handling. <laughs> That's and good. Vicky I says, like that. I'm not handling having my son home. Any suggestions, emotions are all messed up. Well, now try that. Uh, that narrow exhalation if you're ever having a moment you can do that if that's not working move on to box breathing and when in doubt go tap, yeah tap, tap, tapping tap, is tap. the best way to go you can go get that tapping app if you Nick need that Ortner, info DM ask me. us but I know I've showed you specifically Vicki if you're wondering anyone who wants to know can DM us it's a free tapping app that I personally use there's lots of them out there it's EFT emotional freedom tapping follow the scripts for anxiety to reduce anxiety to ameliorate anxiety to reduce anxiety they work like all systems it works if you work it just knowing it will not make you calm working it will make you calm. it's like buying magical tools buying all the crystals in the world doesn't work if you don't use them buying that's all right. the herbs and you know X Y's and Z's yeah that's great that you have it in your environment it might change your vibe of your environment but Maybe. It's, you're not gonna work if it you're not working it's honestly like if you if you any of you have done 12-step programs those steps work only when you go through them. Just knowing them is not sufficient. You have to go, it's like the halt. Everyone uses halt. Hungry, angry, lonely, tired. It's great that you know that, but if you don't acknowledge the state you're in, it's irrelevant. You have to apply what you know if you want the benefits. Absolutely. Please do that with all things. And Sunday just popped in and says, hey guys, hey, I'm late to the show, but I made it. Yay, oh, I have missed you, Sunday. thank you. you yeah, Sunday. we've missed you, Sunday. It's been a long time. Jessica Sprint says, I forgot to do it. Thank you for the reminder. Absolutely. Right, Jessica Sprint will be traveling this week coming up, yes. the beginning of next week. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell her business unless she wants to, but everybody needs to put her on her prayer list, yes, on her protection her. candle, mm -hmm. anything to make safe travels for her and her children yes. who are driving almost as far as we did this week. To take good care and of And she's Bella. going by herself, mm -hmm. so please keep her all her and all her children uplifted. in your prayers yeah. and uplifted and magically supported and protected you know she's carrying Bella who has um, cancer and you know they're fighting that and then she has another little one and a teenager yeah. so let's keep her in our prayers there's lots Please. of people coming up Peggy I'm not trying to give anybody's information but Peggy's not feeling well let's keep her in the healing candle clearly Vicky's having some family stuff so lots of us are going through lots of things and it, honestly including us that's half of yeah. why we got in the car and drove Oops. halfway across the world just to get an understanding that's right so I know all of you aren't to have the luxury of driving across the world or America or wherever you happen to be in Canada or other countries so let us help you and support you and let the tribe help and support you thank you all right um, let's see here Rose says hi guys hey, hey Rose. Rose good to see uh, you Candace per says what's the L in the halt lonely lonely hungry angry lonely or tired Erica says, praying for safe travels for Jessica. Yes. Stacy says, I haven't caught a live in so long. I'm excited I caught you all. Thank you, Stacy. Yes, thank and you. And you're in fabulous Las Vegas. Yes, we are. Uh, Peggy <laughs> says, hugging you in prayers. Thank you. Thank Sunday you. says, it's been too long. I missed you guys, too. I'll be contacting you guys very soon. Good. Thank you. And like we said, for those of you who are excited, you finally caught us on the live. Now, this is while the best we're time. Here, we're doing extra live. Yeah, we're doing lots of extra ones, so please turn on those notifications make sure that you're aware of when we if pop on. If you like and share these videos, it'll be more likely for it to remind you and your friends. When we come up, you'll notice more. So again, we don't like to proselytize because if you love us, you'll do it on your own. But if you haven't thought of that, please do that. Christy Payne, your father Mel is here. Wait he is. Oh, there's a plane. Gotta wait for the plane. <laughs> I'm sure this is how people who who like live in strange neighborhoods must feel with that going on all the time. So Christy Payne, your father Mel is here. He is worried that you are not taking enough time to establish clean boundaries. Do not let yourself get exploited again. You already know what that did to you in the past. You can't go through that one more time. So please have some boundaries where you don't have them. 
Um, Erica an answered Candace. Vicky says, yes, I'm applying everything that I have learned from you, and it will get better. Yes, it will. Like Vicky, it will Rose is saying prayers for safe travels. Thank Jessica you. saying thank you. Peggy saying thank you, Jessica, to me. Debbie saying prayers for those in need. Thank you. Vicky says, hey, Peggy, love you. Feel better soon. Jessica, safe travels. Love you. Thank and you. Sunday says, Las Vegas, wow, enjoy yourselves. Yeah. Peggy thank says, you. thank you so much, Vicky. Yes, Sunday, so we are in Las Vegas. We drove from Virginia to... The uh, Nevada just to get out clear our heads lose our frustrations find ourselves in the mix and you and know you really get to know someone in 36 three hours, hours. 33, well it felt like 36 but we thought we hours. knew each other we, <laughs> we do now go through the dust bowl go yeah. through Oklahoma go through go the through. barbed wire museum oh my gosh I took him to a barbed wire museum who knew that was a real thing it's a real oh. thing it's a real thing there's another airplane in case you couldn't hear it. <laughs> Glad we got this location out of the way. <laughs> but, I mean, you have to admit, honestly, it is beautiful. Now, I'm sorry for the airplanes, but these are some beautiful cacti. I've never seen them this big. No. All right. So it looks like we're right at the 25 minute mark. Um, if nobody else has any other questions, I'm going to let JC give the rest of you a view. Uh, flip yes, the camera around, look one more time at these trees. All and right, we're guys. Say our goodbyes and take you to another location soon. Yes, we will go so to another. So, if everybody doesn't know, Las Vegas does have underground artesian springs. Everybody thinks it's just the desert, which they don't understand how much water is under Las Vegas because it does depend on the Colorado River. Everybody thinks we're going to drown or die ha 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 in a drought um and maybe that's true or maybe some people are smart enough to know where those artesian springs are so there's pockets of these beautiful landscapes and the reason why some of them thrive is good landscaping and some thrive because of the artesian wells in the christmas time if anybody decides to come to las vegas during the Christmas stretch, this whole beautiful garden, you're only seeing a corner end of it. This is a larger garden than what we're showing you. Yeah, this is just a corner. This all gets lit up in Christmas time. It's a huge Christmas festival here. Go through the chocolate factory, get some fun treats, and come through the cactus garden and look at all the beautiful holiday decorations. Right? All right. Exciting views. So let's see here. Rose says, so glad you all took time for you. Erica Thank says, love you, you both. Be safe. We Have a blast. Too. Peggy says, beautiful. T.Y., so much for sharing. Candace says, thanks for Absolutely. sharing the scenery. We love it. Thank so we you. love you all. <laughs> we do love you You all. are the most important outside Thank of our are. immediate family. Oh, Larmar Lotus popped up. Hold on, it's the airplane. There is an airplane. Let me show you the airplane. Look, it's an airplane. De plane, de plane. <laughs> We're going to come back around. So, Laura Marlotis is saying, Ooh, I got a bug in my eye. You crazy kids. So exciting. Have fun and safe travels. Thank you, Cheryl. Sammy's saying, Have fun, guys. Stay safe. Good night. Peggy says, Chocolate Factory. What? Right. Candace, LOL. And Erica says, LOL, JC. LOL. <laughs> All right. If you point right there. No, just flip okay. it one more flip time. one more time. You can see the factory. Part of the factory right there behind the garden. That's the chocolate factory. So that's the original chocolate factory. Now, when you go across the street, they now have, of course, manufacturing. Yeah, all um, those are out there, but this is the primary So if you one. want some primary premium chocolate, look up Ethel M Chocolate Factory. Yep. All right, we're going to see you from more locations. We'll keep everybody notified when we come on, not just we Tuesdays and Thursdays. We love you all. We You're important. Please keep in contact. This tribe is still going regardless of where we are and what we are doing. So we hope everyone has a great night. We love you. We love you. Take care. We'll see you soon. Good night.